Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if an audio device is disabled on your Windows computer. So this error would usually indicate the computer is detecting your audio device, but the device itself is disabled. So we're going to go over a couple different troubleshooting ways on how to hopefully resolve this problem. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu. And you want to type in sound. Best match should come back with sound right above control panel. You want to left click on that one time. Now you want to go to the playback tab, which should be the default place you launch. And you want to right click on a blank spot. And you want to make sure that both show disabled devices and show disconnected devices are enabled as well. So once both of them are enabled, you want to make sure they're set up and then click on apply and OK. If one of your devices is not the default audio device, you, you want to change that by left clicking on it and selecting set default. However, I only have one speaker output on my computer, so that's why it's showing only one. But that's just to give you guys an idea in there. So if there's anything hidden, it should be unhidden if you make sure both of these are checked. And then just setting it as default should enable it as well. And if there is anything else in here, you can just right click on it and make sure that if there's an enable button, you click on enable. So currently it says disable for this one, but if it was disabled, this instead would say enable. You would left click on enable in order to enable that device. Another way would be to go through the device manager. So if we close out of here, open up the start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager right above control panel. You want to left click on device manager here. So now you want to go underneath sound, video, and game controller, so expand that. So if there's multiple sound devices listed under here, you want to right click on it, and then left click on enable device if it's currently disabled. So if it's enabled, it will say disabled device, and it will do vice versa if the device is actually disabled. So you would go ahead and try and enable that as well. Another thing you can try, and I would actually recommend minimizing out device manager for the time being, and that would be to open up the start menu. Again, type in CMD. Best match would say command prompt. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, left click on yes. So now there's going to be two commands we want to paste into our elevated command line window and we're going to paste both of them in one at a time. So the first one's going to be the NED local group administrator add network service. So I'm going to just right click on the top bar here, left click edit, left click paste, then hit enter one time to run it. Should say the command completed successfully. Next one's going to be again right click on the top bar, left click edit, left click paste, and we're going to run that until it says completed successfully as well. So I would again recommend restarting your computer after you try running that command. So I guess you will have to reopen device manager if that did not work, but hopefully that did work as well. So I would recommend underneath sound devices here, right clicking on whatever is here again. Try updating the driver software as well. And if that still doesn't work, you can uninstall the device as well. And once you restart your computer, it should automatically be reinstalled. And you're more than welcome to go online as well and download your software for your specific speakers. Just take note of whatever's listed here before you removed anything, but it should be reinstalled once you restart your computer. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.